Welcome to which version in which I contrast and compare different takes on the same story. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. All Quiet on the Western Front, 1930 and 1979. The year is 1914, it's the years of the, the early years of the First World War. A graduating class is strongly encouraged by their teacher to enlist, and they do so. And over time, they find that the war is nothing like they had been told from back home. They learn all the dehumanizing reality of it. Try to get accustomed to the piercing whistle of an incoming shell and the trench warfare. Let me instantly give away that both of these films are expertly produced and I wholeheartedly recommend both of them. And I don't mean that as in, you know, watch at least one of them, no, watch both of them. They are both well worth your time. It doesn't matter that you've already watched one of them, watching the other one. There, there are just enough differences that they are both well, well, watching, well worth watching. And both films have something that the other does not, and that you would miss out on, and that would be just... There's no reason to miss out on. Now, with that said, there are, I, I suppose, while, yes, the, the original one is indeed the best one, the better one, but not by that much. They really are both excellent films. They're brilliantly acted. The cinematography is fantastic. The production values are very high. The pacing is phenomenal. The tension is just incredibly thick. The fear of death and the, the visualization and realization of these of, of the tragic realities and the all the the terror that you know war is you know th these are both you know the very top of the best anti-war movies ever made now getting on to the differences the old one is the old one is better at establishing characters. The, the introductions to several characters is stronger. Both versions have a, a character by the name of Himmelstos, but in the original, he's first introduced as the mailman known by several of the boys of the classroom and they have a good relationship with, 
one another. And in both versions, he is also, once they enlist, he turns out to also be their drill sergeant, and he puts them through hell. Now, while while both have them going through hell, and I would personally say it feels worse in the newer one, the, the newer one is lacking that contrast that before the war, before they, excuse me, all enlisted, they got on. It, it, was, it was pleasant to be around him for them. So while the original definitely establishes character better, I would say that the newer one does a better job of developing them. We, in the new one, have several scenes of characters just talking about what they want to do when they get back from the war, or what they did before the war, and this of course makes the, the situation all the more tragic, that these, you know, these were people with dreams and, and lives. Some, some realize, some just beginning. The original is more theatrical, and whether that's a negative or not is really up to the individual, but it does have a staged quality to it. And part of this is, of course, the... the but both, of them, both films are very much products of their time. And in 1930, when movies, you know, the, the film medium was young, and basically it was kind of seen as, well, now we can record stage plays, you know, to, to some extent. Which is not to say that it's not beautifully filmed and fantastically edited. There are scenes in the original that are much better edited than in the newer one. Scenes that you will never forget. But it does, you know, it was not a perfected craft yet. And the 1979 version utilizes some tools that have been discovered, that, that were discovered or developed since, you know, the, basically the birth of the film medium. These include narration and a non-linear timeline. Not only are these somewhat obvious choices for, you know, adapting a novel, but they do also really help. They, they give some... They, they allow the filmmakers to do some things that would just not be possible otherwise. While the original is very linear in its progression, The, the newer one actually starts already at the front line. The, the very first things we see take place at the front line. Although you don't realize it immediately. The, the very first thing you see is a house. And it seems tranquil and then suddenly it explodes. And that really right there just captures the, you know, war, especially that sort of war where you don't actually see the enemy that much. And the original starts with them in the classroom, pretty much actually. I think the very first thing you see is Himmelstos, the mailman, but almost the first thing you see is them in the classroom as they're getting riled up. They are, it's, they're basically being just encouraged passionately by this big jingoistic nationalistic speech by the teacher who in no uncertain terms he, he pretty much says go out and join up I mean he he has a line about I'm, I'm technically not allowed to but I really wish you would you know and you can really understand from that scene why they join up when in the newer one it's it's a completely different scene, and 
yeah, you know, the, the, the original, I don't know if they were just more comfortable with it. Maybe in the newer one, they were afraid of, you know, ma making people think of the Nazis, perhaps, which hadn't happened in 1930. And in, you know, in, in the original, no one knew that another world war was right around the corner, so... Yeah, they, and, and that freedom really helps because from that scene you completely understand why they would join up. But the, the original has some strength in this linear progression as well, in that you really see them change over time. You see them go from being basically children. That's also something the original does better. They are children. They, they start out as just children. You, you look at them and you do not see adult people. You know, you do not see grown men. Where in the newer one, it's a little bit, you know, it's, it's very much on the, on the edge of, you know, it's, it's that thing of, you know, you have 30-year-olds playing 20-year-olds kind of thing, the, that cliché. But, but yes, the, 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 this progression allows us to follow them step by step, where in the newer one, with this nonlinear timeline, with them, with, with this tale starting during the war, it feels as though our lead Paul in both of them is, Paul Bauer, is, is telling us this story, but in, in the newer one, it's as if, even though his story doesn't start at the front, it doesn't start with him at war. He doesn't remember what it was like completely before. So, in, in, in his reality, he was always at war. He was always at the front. There, there was no life before that. And that's a truly devastating realization that, you know, the, both of these films are primarily about what war does to people, the emotional trauma, the deep scars. The narration allows for a more sort of fluid description of, of certain things, there, there are some things that just, they would be very difficult to show in scenes necessarily, or it would make the movie much longer, and both, of, both movies have some of them, although, you know, again, you, you, know, you can compare them, neither of them have everything. Sort of, you know, I think with the 1979 version, they basically did figure, well, some of this stuff was in the original, so let's, you know, do something else here. But it is, it, it sort of goes down easier in the newer one, because we're hearing Paul's thoughts, or sometimes we're hearing a letter that he's writing, in which he describes some of these things, and you know, things like that, where in the older one, again, stage play, characters basically monologue, sometimes to themselves, sometimes to other people, and just saying these things. It again, again, I, I must emphasize, the acting is great in both of them, but in the older one, they didn't so much trust actors to convey things, and this makes a lot of sense for stage plays, because not everyone will be able to see properly what the actors are doing especially their faces and, you know, any subtlety in their body language could be lost on the people in the back rows, especially, you know, if you go, you know, back far enough, theaters were, you know, there were, there were so many people there and a lot of them couldn't properly see. So it was communicated through the dialogue. It was, it was the lines. And when, when film came around, they still didn't completely you know, trust the actors to convey it with their, with their facial expressions and the like. So yes, you have people 
stating things and that's where also the, the newer one is more natural. The dialogue, the reactions come off as more this is how it really happened, sort of. There are, of course, some differences in the quality of effects. The newer one has seen, you know, modern pyrotechnics. It, that makes a huge difference in that regard, but frankly, the old one really doesn't show its age in that area particularly. You don't, there, there aren't a lot of big effects, but you don't really miss them. And that actually is something I, something that should also be made perfectly clear. Both of these movies have a very grand scope. It really feels big. It feels like a war. The newer one also has a few long takes which are quite effective, you know, with, without any cutting. You know, one camera, tracking shot. I will also say that the newer one, some sequences are just edited better. It's especially the conclusion that is, it, it has a greater impact. And again, this is because of changes to uh, the approach to film, you know, and how yeah, how, how, it, how it was viewed. I suppose that more or less covers it. But, yes. Excellent films, and I wholeheartedly recommend both of them. Not just one of them, not both of them by themselves, both of them. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.